Good morning. Today is Wednesday, December the 20th. The time right now is 9.22 in the morning and we can see equity markets continue to edge higher even on lower volume. You can see that the micro e mini uh, Dow Jones continue to uh, uh, trade higher into new all-time high overnight at 37,939 in the futures market. And uh, the cash index has gone even further at 30, 37,562.7. So we can see that this uh, Dow Jones is basically trading into all-time high. And uh, as far as the S&P 500 is concerned, it's not that far away. Uh, it is the cash index. You can see the all-time high uh, traded uh, last year in January the 4th uh, was 4,818.62. Last night high. 4,768.69. So we are basically about 50 points away from touching the all-time high with a prospect of a, of a breakthrough anytime soon. And in the futures contract basis, the micro e-mini futures, uh, we can see the S&P 500 has recorded all-time high uh, in the futures contract as well at 4,821.5. The last high traded uh, in, uh, we call it, uh, in last year, uh, the previous all-time high was 4,808 and a quarter. So we can see definitely market wants to go higher. And in the cash uh, index in the NASDAQ 100, we have finally broke the all-time high in the NASDAQ 100, which are last traded two months before the S&P 500 and the Dow actually peaks in January of 4th uh, last year. So we can see that uh, Across the board, we can see all major equity index have risen except for the Russell 2000, uh, the new high trader in the NASDAQ cash index is 16,813.01 uh, compared to the uh, last previous high at 16,764.86. So this is definitely underpinning the market. We can see futures contract continue to edge higher. Of course, we knew that the futures contract has been leading uh, the market higher even before the cash index broke into the all-time high last night. Now, the high trader last night is 17,037 even and uh, I've always mentioned that nearby the uh, target is about 17,231 so for all internet purposes I think that uh, the upside potential is right now very vulnerable to uh, sharp profit taking as we uh, move towards the holiday season which is going to be at this weekend okay so let's watch out if market participants will close uh, uh, the markets before Christmas at the higher or will come under profit taking so over in Asia, we can see the Asia market continue to edge higher. This morning, we have the uh, Nikkei 225 trading higher after after uh, pausing for the BOJ's meeting yesterday, we can see that the Bank of Japan maintains policy unchanged with no signal as to when they're going to ease monetary policy uh, or whether they're going to uh, uh, normalize uh, interest rates going on in Japan. So this has actually uh, caused buyers to come back into equity markets, taking the Nikkei 225 uh, to 33,620, which is not that far away from the year high at 33,870. So if the market do take out this level, we probably will see new highs traded in the Nikkei 225 as well going into the end of the year. So in the help, in the Hong Kong market, uh, Hong Kong uh, Hang Seng Index continue to be well supported, uh, largely due to the fact that the Fed has signaling its uh, intent to pivot. Uh, this is seen to be uh, largely positive for equity markets. In fact, it is seen to be largely positive for, uh, for risky assets, including equity markets. So this morning, uh, we have the Hang Seng trading at 16,719, uh, which is a much better levels compared to yesterday's low which is at uh, 16,420. So by and large, we still have the prospect of the uh, either the October close or the November close could have kept this market, which is marginally above the 17,000 level. If the market can actually close above here, then we can see prospect of further rises in the Hang Seng market, which has been largely been very, very bearish throughout the year itself. Over in the dollar, we can see dollar continue to slide overnight. Uh, again, the sentiments that caused the dollar to slide has now come back into play and everybody is looking at the Fed pivot going to 2024. This is causing the dollar to come off and the high traded so far is 102.64, which is the day before. So we can see by and large, although the dollar wants to bounce, it could not bounce because of the uh, uh, Fed upcoming pivot. So we can see uh, that is also benefiting the principal currency uh, euro dollar has benefited uh, to trade back to uh, close to 110 level uh, from the overnight low uh, from the uh, from last week low of just uh, above the 1.0890 levels.
Sterling obviously is going to be beneficial uh, to the upside. The entire structure in the sterling is definitely a lot more bullish than the euro dollar. I've always maintained that. And uh, last night's uh, rally to 127.60 is no surprise. Uh, we do, so, do see a marginal high uh, going forward. And uh, the bracket to be concerned with is this bracket over here. Maybe I can show you where the bracket comes from is coming from this level here. That means to say that the market has a possibility of actually gunning for this high here. Okay, this is the 130 levels. Okay, and 130 is a big round juicy number. So I think the market may actually gun for that uh, in the coming days or, or weeks. Okay, and over in the dollar yen, dollar yen has benefited uh, again because the BOJ has not made any material change in their stand in terms of interest rates. So you can see buyers coming back in the dollar and that has pushed dollar yen this morning to a higher of 144.95 with the prospect of it going even higher. The market has a rate trade pulled back 61.8% so far from the drop from 146.60 to 140.95. So we will be interested to see if it can hold on to its gain. If it can, then there is a prospect of a, of a challenge of the nearby swing high at 146. Uh, 60. Over in the Aussie, Aussie remains very well bid and the market has taken out a key level here which I thought was is going to be uh, able to cap further rise in the Aussie. Aussie this morning traded a high of 0 0.6775 with the prospects of further gains ahead. Okay, And in the dollar Canadian, dollar Canadian obviously is very much like the dollar index has been under pressure. The low traded this morning in Asia is 133.30 133, uh, levels with the prospect of further losses ahead, especially if the dollar index continue to lose ground. Okay, And uh, in precious metals, we can see the precious metals has been trading nowhere. Uh, the market traded to a high uh, last night at $2,047.03, very, very near to the uh, last week high of $2,047.95. So based on what we are seeing so far, uh, the fact that uh, traders are now refocusing on the uh, pivot story may actually be beneficial for uh, for precious metal as well, especially in the face of a falling dollar that could be supportive. But going forward, we need to see further gains rather than marginal gains. We can see that unless the $2,047.95 is taken out and close above this level, there's very little prospect of uh, any meaningful gain in gold prices. In silver, we are seeing the same pattern being uh, play out as well. We can see the high trade is $24.29 last week and prices dip back to $23.64 before rising over night to $24.17 there about and this is again uh, a pullback of 50% which is uh, marginally weaker than the than the bounce in the do, uh, in the goal okay so by and large because of this very strong rally from $20.49 that is the bias to trade to the upside moreover the medium term uh, directional buyer is supportive of higher prices going forward in oil market uh, because of the uh, incessant uh, hijacking of commercial vessels in the Red Sea by the Houthis rebels, we can see that uh, that has been underpinning the oil market because the Red Sea uh, is a very important seaway because a lot of commercial activity goes through that, that lane. And uh, right now, the US has actually organized a, uh, a collision of uh, sea vessels, uh, including uh, navies from the uh, its allies, to actually start patrolling the Red Sea. But Houthis uh, rebels has uh, has mentioned that they will not stop this activity until Israel withdraw from Gaza. So there is a political angle to this, and uh, this is what whatever the the reason behind the hijacking, it is definitely supportive of oil, oil prices because a lot of crude uh, tankers actually passes through Red Sea. Now, in the uh, Bitcoin, we can see Bitcoin prices uh, attempt to rally overnight, but uh, we have a marginal high compared to last week. We have a high last night at $43,445, which is marginally above uh, the last week high of $43,429. And uh, immediately we see that there is a bit of a pushback by London based, uh, sorry, by New York based traders. And in the meantime, it's uh, fair to conclude that. Uh, the sentiments is probably going to be sideways trading for quite, quite some time. And the pullback from 44,750 is seen to be a corrective uh, pattern uh, uh, because the overall trend is very, very bullish. And if the market can go lower, it's definitely a case of uh, buying on the dip. Uh, I'm hopeful that at some point in time, market may actually retrace back to 39,000 there about uh, for a better entry for those who are still waiting to get in. Okay. So this is all I have for you today. And in the meantime, you take care. I'll come back to you tomorrow with further updates. Bye-bye. Take care.